a new light, it's a new ring light and a new setup now. So now I could do talking videos in my house or in my room. <laughs> um, and it has bomb lighting, okay? Okay, so um, today's video is just about some tips that I have accumulated over this past week. <laughs> uh, tomorrow will make two weeks of being in school. Now I am a um, college student, however, I don't stay on campus, so I'm not really sure how campus life is. So for tips like that, I'm not sure yet. Catch me in about another year or so. All right, so one thing I have noticed being a college student is that I can only speak for the female female students. I don't know about the teachers, but these, but the, the girls, they go in the bathroom, they use it, and they go to the sink, they put water on, um, soap on their hands, turn the water on, one, two, three, that's it. I don't even know if some of them even put soap on their hands. They probably just put water, one, two, three, and that's it. Like, no, take time. It's only a few seconds, only 20 seconds or more. You need to wash your hands, clean your hands. You know or sanitize or something i'm just saying the next thing i learned is that you know alarms you need lots of alarms if you're like me that one alarm ain't gonna cut i had an alarm i think i just had two of them set and woke up i had literally 10 minutes 15 minutes to get out the door so i wouldn't be late for my class so set Plenty alarms. My next tip is prioritizing. Make sure you prioritize um, because you have to make sure everything is in order. Every day is different and it's not gonna always go to plan it's not gonna always be the same but to have a plan and a list to break down times is really good and it helps you it's de-stress it helps, it helps you compress and you know so you're not stressed out and you're not tired you know like i am because i need to i am working on getting to bed on time i have to prioritize because i if i don't i'm gonna be looking dead and I don't want that, you know, so I'm gonna get better at that. So yes, remember, stay focused and prioritize your time because time is precious and you precious and you can't get it back. I'm so tired. It's 11, 21 PM and I'm just now getting in the tub. My bags is catching up with me. <laughs> if you have questions about something, please don't hesitate to ask your teacher or professor or whatever they like to be called because you don't want to flunk an assignment and you also don't want to get in front of the class talking about something that you really you really don't know you don't want to make yourself look like a fool so don't be afraid to ask questions it's normal and a part of life it's the only way you'll get better i don't understand this hey teacher the smartest thing to do is to ask the question if you are too nervous or scared to ask in front of the whole class, then come to me during my office hours and I'm glad I, I will gladly help you, okay? That is the smartest thing to do. If you don't understand something, ask questions because to go on and do something and then get a failing grade, like, you know? So don't be afraid to ask, don't be afraid to ask questions. That's the smartest thing to do. That's the smartest thing to do. You totally right. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you're like me, I'm not a studier, okay? I don't really like studying, I, but I have learned to break it down. So I have my own way of studying. I do not study everything in one day. However, I break everything down and I go day by day, a few hours a day or whatever, so I can get the job done. I don't like cramming things all at once. I get, I take my time and I get it done. Now there are things sometimes where you're not gonna have days. You're only gonna have a day or a few hours. And so with that, I just take it, I'm by myself. I might play a little music and then I go ahead or TV, you know, low, low some noise in the background, but it's low and I take my time and I go over it and I test myself and then I do it some more. 
and then I'm done. And then right before the test, I go back over it just so I'm I'm good, you know. So for studying, just make sure if you do need to study, if you have, you know, study. Take out that time to study. If you need to, study. If you don't know how to, study. Come up with your own method. But make sure you do what you need to do so you can ace those tests or pass them, you know. You don't want to be like the first person where they're studying and they're rushing. You want to be like the second person where they studied, took out the time, and they're ready for their test. This is where prioritizing again comes into play. Make sure you prioritize your time so that when the test or a pop quiz or exam, you know, whatever it may be, you are ready for it. Okay? Don't cram it all in one night. It's not going to work. Last but not least, don't forget to enjoy college. Don't forget to enjoy life in general and just not be so stressed out all the time. You know, woosah. Breathe, baby girl. Pray, you know. Do what you have to do to decompress. And yeah, you have to enjoy life. You can't let like, work, 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 because you're going to go crazy, okay? So make sure you enjoy life. I don't stay on campus. Uh, and the campus, I commute, and it's a small campus. It's not like a big main campus. So if your campus is big, and everything if you don't like partying then there's always um, a lot of schools have game rooms or things like that where you swimming pools stuff like that where you can do recreational center or student union or stuff like that you have food places where you can eat you know or uh, places surrounding the colleges where you can go and hang out and shop and stuff you know it's all about balance. It's all about prioritizing. Like, that stuff plays a huge part. And don't forget, work hard, play hard, okay? Okay. Lastly, don't forget to have fun and turn up. Whatever your turn up may be, just be safe, be careful, and be aware of your surroundings. But for me, good night, folks.